Welcome back everybody. Another day, another pallet. Getting late at night, getting a little tired, but you know what? It's been a couple weeks. We're gonna see what we have. So without further ado, let's go at her. Get this ready for you. Ah, you know, I took a little look at this as I was taking it off the truck and I'm gonna have to be uh, Quite honest with you, I don't think it's going to be all that great at the end of the day, this one. I got lucky on the last few that I had. This one here, yeah, you know, it seems to be a little dicey. But you know what? All we can do is go through everything and uh, let's see what we have. Obviously, Instapot, this is not an Instapot. By the looks of it, they had stuck in uh, some pillows or something. Take a better look at this. So, uh, what are these? I'm not quite sure. Kind of weird. Uh, holy smokes. Uh, oh, it's one thing. I thought it was two. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to have to say it's going to be a, a mattress topper. By the looks of it, I'm going to have to go more along the lines of a, a twin uh, single or a twin and it's not going to be much bigger than that and again like I've said in all my other previous videos you know what it doesn't have its uh, original packaging so bedding without original packaging uh, I don't sell it I mean unless it was something really unique and I could get a you know get away with it but generally I just don't sell it, so it's always have to take it as a bust. Take it, big zero, zero dollars. Okay, saw this multifunctional laptop table, not the greatest packaging, but when you do look at it, it does look new. Uh, I'll dig into it a bit more. Packaging's a little bit up, at least if it's new, it's not too bad. I could uh, get a couple bucks for it. Heavy, that's what it says, and it is heavy. So, but by the way it's puffing up in the top, I'm almost going to have to say, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a, a weighted blanket or something. Okay, what is, uh, what is this? You know what, it's exactly, you know, it is, it's a weighted there's the, there's the cover, so it's almost, uh, I'd have to say that's like a, a, a duvet cover, and here, holy smokes, this is, this is heavy, uh, th that's your weighted blanket, so you got a big weighted duvet in there, and this is your cover. Uh, it is, looks brand new, how it's wrapped. Uh, I'm not quite sure, have to dig into this, I don't know if that's the original packaging or not. Um, let's see what it says on here, Boxy 12 360, two piece it is, so that is original packaging that it came in. Uh, so, have to somehow get a brand and see what that's worth. So, I find I do have several uh, weighted blankets right now. I do not have something that heavy, uh, that extent. That's almost like, a, let's say a duvet instead of a blanket. It's a lot bigger, it's heavier, a lot heavier than what I've had. I don't have much luck selling them. So, you know what, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit more luck there. Because again, we have another weighted blanket a little ripped on the handle, which is understandable because I'm gonna have to say, you know what, it's, it's at least 15, 20 pounds, this one. But this one's actually heavier, a lot heavier. So I'll have to dig in to see how heavy that is. Let's see what we have on the paperwork here. Cotton weighted blanket with glass beads. Um, is it ticked off for the size? You got the three sizes there. So I don't have the size ticked off. I'll have to. I might have to take it out and see. Again, you know, I have the original packaging. I have to make sure it hasn't been used. Um, packaging isn't the greatest. Like I said, 
I don't have much luck with the bedding, so, um, you know, let's see what we can do. Pull that, let's get, uh, you know what, I threw all this here again. Uh, my Tim's. I have another weighted blanket, which is right here. And I'm not gonna give this original packaging a, a 10 out of 10, that's uh, for sure. I don't wanna cut the blanket. I'm not sure why it's packaged like this. Um, I know returns can't come back uh, on like package like that, they would never make it through. But again, I'm gonna have to say, I'm not saying it was used, I'm gonna have to say it was definitely taken out because it wasn't put back in properly. What size it is, I don't know. Again, I guess I'll have to take this out, check out the size. That's three weighted blankets, uh, or one duvet, two blankets. Again, you know what? I'm not gonna get much money for these if I even sell them, uh, unfortunately. We have windshield wipers. Okay, throw that over there. I have a Yava V6-1080P projector. This could be a, this could be a good find uh, if it's all A-OK. -okay. Cord is out. We have a travel pack. So here's the paperwork, here's the lens cloth, so obviously it has been taken out. That's a uh, projection screen, I guess that's what they had. Um, warranty card, and some packaging. So at the very least, you know they used it. Or they tried, they, take, they have taken it out. Okay, so here's the... Yeah, maybe not. Here's the HDMI. Still nicely bundled. Little speakers. Remote control. And instruction manual, which is always good to, when they bring when you know instruction manual comes back. Here is the unit itself. So let's take a look at this. Doesn't seem to be uh, banged up or anything, so it seems to be okay. Looks uh, looks like it's brand new, condition still. Lid, lens is good. Okay, so we'll have to dig deeper into this. Plug her in, make sure it's all good. This brand here, um, there's one company that that makes them, and they, there's about six different brands. This is, this is a true 1080p, which a lot of them aren't. They say will work up to 1080p. Uh, this one is actually a 1080p, so that's always good. I know they sell for uh, mid 300s. You can get them on sale for high 200s. So, you know what, we'll dig into the, deeper into that. I'll plug everything in. Hopefully everything is all good. And if that's the case, you know what? Uh, somebody might have bought it, they put it in, didn't realize it was what they really wanted, um, and could be a good score. What a lot of people don't realize is these projectors, they work good if you have a fire stick or one of those cards you can stick in, HDMI. This is Bluetooth, it's Wi-Fi. I'm going to be honest with you, the Wi-Fi doesn't work worth, worth five cents. You know, they never have, unless you're getting a $2,000 system, the, the, the Wi-Fi isn't worth much. You have to put the HDMI cable in, and uh, but, or even if you were to connect it to your phone, you can't stream off your phone. And that's what a lot of people don't realize. They actually have to, you know, go off of their PC, a laptop, um, you know, directly right from their TV with an HDMI cable. So... You know, that could be a good find there. Is 
Zan Flare Intelligent Remote Control Floor Lamp. Well, let's see how intelligent it is. Here's some things falling in here. Not a very good uh, packing job, but you never know. Okay, so again, uh, it's been taken out. There is a remote. Not exactly factory packaged. Okay, I'm going to have to put it together, plug her in, and see if everything works. Again, you know what? It's not worth a hell of a lot of money. Um, so, unfortunately, like I said when I was taking this off, I don't have much faith in this palette, unfortunately. It's just, uh, just one of those things. A lot of, uh, I have uh, a few items. Uh, more than my last palette, but these are kind of lower end. And the packaging is not that great, so it makes it a lot more difficult to, to sell them. Let's see what this is. I'm not sure. Tape job. You know what? There's only... I don't think it's ever been opened, but we're going to open it to see what it is. Ah, uh, see? Oh, I think it's... I think it's new. Do a little cardboard test. Okay, it's a speaker of some sort. Does this tell me what it is here? 10 inch, 250 watt, under seat, car enclosed, subwoofer. Okay, so I guess it goes under the seat in the car. Pretty self explanatory. Um, for the wires. So it has been taken out, so it might have opened the other side, only because they would never have come shipped like this from the factory. But nonetheless, if it works, that's what counts. What do we have there? Volume. So I guess you run that to wherever it is. And here is your car subwoofer. Cool. Wi-Fi, uh, Woody Car Audio. There you go. Pretty snazzy, smazzy, man. So we'll have to take a look to see what that's worth. And somehow finagle everything and see if it works proper, which I'm sure it does. You know, um, it's very rare I'll get something speaker related and it doesn't work. I mean, been pretty lucky that way. I think people buy it and then they realize that it's too big or, you know, something minuscule why they actually send it back. I'll have to repackage this properly anyhow. So that could be another good fine subwoofer. I'm not quite uh, knowledgeable at what that might sell for, but I mean, it looks pretty good. So that's what counts. Got a whole bunch of curtain rods. I'm not even going to bother taking them out. I got two, four six curtain rods again not worth five cents to me but you know in this well this is not a very good not a very good tape job but the mystery box and let's see if the mystery is going to pay off or not we have okay so we have a mini multifunctional household sewing machine it's a pretty good find you know, for the people that don't want to spend a lot of money, not like the palette I got before where I got four professional sewing machines. This is, by the looks of it, the tag, this is a, a brand new item. So, I will gingerly take that out, everything's there. And uh, again though, this here, um, Let's see what I might get. It might be worth a hundred dollars. I, you know what? I might get seventy, eighty dollars for it pops. If everything is still a okay, perfect. We have I walk hands free crutch. I actually have two of these, so I'm not going to open that one. And where's the other one? Uh, here's the other one here. So I have two. This one's a little 
Looks like this one has been opened. I'm not sure if it's been used or not. Spare part. Okay. Adjustable. It's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory uh, by looking at it. It's all in all in the package. It looks uh, looks pretty good. What I'm trying to find here we go is the rubber part. And by looking at the rubber part, well, it looks new. Um, it looks a little has a little dirt on it. I don't know if they might have used that in the house or maybe lightly a couple steps outside um, take a better look so it is rubber it is not and if it has been you know what it's hard to tell because usually when this starts going on the sidewalks and everything this this rubber would get all scuffed up and it's not so I'm gonna have to look into it a bit better because that's the part I wanted to see to see if it was used or not and it looks new so we might get lucky there these believe it or not retail for almost a couple hundred dollars you might be able to get it on sale for you know give or take 160 170 plus tax I so having two of these I don't know if they would be a big sell or not, but um, I guess the alternative part, and I'll put a screenshot up of this, so uh, of how it's, how it's used, and it'll give you an idea how somebody uses these crutches instead of, uh, so they're basically a hands-free crutch. You don't have to have one to keep walking like this. It attaches to your leg, your leg goes up, and you can go about your business with these. So that's a good find. Another mystery box. Hopefully, we get lucky in one of these mystery boxes. Would be nice. Eh, no, not, no, no luck here, my friend. No luck here at all. We have a used, uh, definitely used and broken. Uh, I guess it was a coffee machine or something. I'm not even worried about it. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna throw it out. Can't waste my time on stuff like that because it's not worth anything. We have Sunday Living PTC heater. Okay. Let's check her out. Little tiny heater. Like that, that was a nice crack. Crack of the cardboard. Okay, so I'm gonna have to say by the cord and everything, uh, this should be brand new. There's the instruction booklet all inside. So here we go. Nice. The remote, flame, temperature, heat, timer, power, okay, nice, huh, so there you go, nice little heater, have to check to see what that's worth, but it is brand new, we like brand new stuff, put that back in, so that was a good find. The only hard part is I'm going to have to spend time put it back in the box properly. As we plug along here, have that. This, look at this tape job. Isn't that a beauty, eh? Absolute beauty. Duct tape, jeez. I mean, I guess they were making sure 
when they shipped it back, it was not coming out. That's funny. You know, here's the problem. It could be brand new product in there, and it's hard to sell when you have a box like this. Really hard. But I must say, this duct tape is uh, doing its work, doing its job. Wow. It's crazy. Okay, let's see if I can get part of this open. Just so I can show you guys. You know what? It looks uh, it looks good. It looks brand new. I wonder if somebody bought it and then, you know, they didn't want it. They would, maybe it was a gift. And somebody says, well, what am I going to do with that? Because you know what? If somebody bought this for me, I'd be saying, what am I going to do with that? Okay, so right away, I'm missing a string. So they had broken a string. Kids guitar, six string acoustic guitar, musical gift for toddlers, boys, girls, 23 inch burly wood. That is the problem right there is it's missing a string, uh, which is not a big deal. I mean, you can put another string on it fingerprints they have been used so you know what is to be expected the disgusting part is I wish I had a better palette you don't let your kids use it break it and then send it back come on really what is it worth it's not worth five cents to start off with so to send something like that back like you can see the lacquer running down you know what that is that's a garage sale item you're going to put it for $5 and you're going to get some quack that's going to say, I'll give you $2. There you go. You got a $2 item at the end of the day. And I need to get free duct tape. Okay, Jose. Wow. You know, again, I've told you on many of my videos, you can tell how stuff is packed. This is, well, unfortunately, one of those pallets where the majority of the things that I've received are, are junk. I mean, not junk, but you just can't get your money out of it. Wow, okay. Well, let's read to see what this is. Outdoor Christmas tree. LED blossom tree, cherry blossom tree. Cold weather farmhouse Christmas decor. Six and a half feet. Well, I'm not putting that together. Uh, here's all the plastic blossoms. Uh, it does have a plug, so I guess it plugs in. I'll have to do some research on this to see if it actually works. And uh, you know what? Did they return it because Christmas is over? Unfortunately, you know, it's a good bet they did that, but that's what people do kind of have to take it. If it all works, I'll, I'll put it in a nicer box and I'll have to keep it for uh, next year, you know, and sell it then. Trying to get some more room up here so I can show people everything. We have a rechargeable cordless shiatsu massager for neck and shoulder. Wow, that's a mouthful. Okay, so here's the power cord all there. Nice carrying case. Oops. And there it is. Nice. So, again, this is one of those products I'm going to have to plug in, make sure everything works. It looks, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, huh. No power in it right now. You just put it on. And you, you put your hands like this so it doesn't go anywhere, I think. And then you just go, who knows? I'm not quite sure. But we'll dig into it. 
we go. Okay, another, oh, so that's pretty cool. Just in the bottom of the bag here. So you have your main power cord. It is rechargeable, so obviously you can charge it up, take it on the go, and then if you want, you can use it in your vehicle. If your vehicle still comes with a cigarette lighter, um, I'm finding a lot of the newer ones don't, but you know, you never know. Some do, some don't. So a nice little shiatsu neck massager. Ah, that's what I was looking for. I have ultrasonic cool mist humidifier. So, let's see what we have. We have some tape there. These actually are pretty cool little gadgets. They don't sell for a lot of money. Um, I think they're at Walmart for $129 or something. Uh, same as Amazon. Okay, so by the packaging, it looks brand new. Still has the filter there. By the packaging, it looks it looks all good, but you never know. I mean, I double have to double triple check things. Here. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. It is oh, yes, ultrasonic. Let's see how this is gonna go here. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. How does it look? So, you know what? It has been out of the box. There is fingerprints on it. Sticker's still on there. Um, make sure there isn't anything missing. Look at it. Until... You know what? It has been used, unfortunately. It has been used. You can tell everything that deals with water, the good thing, it's easy to tell if somebody used it, because no matter how good they clean it, you know what, they always leave water marks. So again, it has been used, so now what I'll do is I'll put water in it, make sure it works, and if it works, well, I sell it as a used item. So even as a used, if it's all good and it's used, this will, I mean, sells for a hundred, low hundreds, uh, you know what, I'm always gonna get, should get at least thirty dollars for it. I mean, it's not a it's not a lot of money, but you have to. Unfortunately, when you get these pallets like this, you have to you have to get those thirty dollar items and, and get the thirty dollars for it. Um, other than that, it's too hard to start making making your money back. You know, I paid the same for this one as I as I normally do. Works out to. You know, just over eleven hundred dollars. So, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you're in this business uh, and people want to get into this business, it's difficult to make your eleven hundred dollars back when you're getting products like what I'm getting today on this palette here. Too many used palette, too many used products. <coughs> the pa sorry, the packaging is not the greatest, so. It's difficult to make uh, 11, uh, 1100 you figure that's not fuel, that's not your time, that's not the six months it's going to take, uh, I guess, to sell everything. So, you know, $30, $80, you got to sell a lot of items to get your money back. Anyhow, I have two of those. Uh, let's see what else I can get here. There we go. What do I have? I have tire snow chains which um, where I am I don't even know if these are legal so I know they're they're legal in a lot of the states uh, I know they're not they're not legal here where I am in Canada but okay so wow they're brand new Brand spanking new. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll have to. I guess they're adjustable for almost any car, probably car tire. I'll look into it more with that brand and uh, see uh, how many different tires they fit, or do they only fit a certain size tire? I'm not quite sure. 
and I'll put them up. I don't know what kind of demand I can get for them here, but I will say one thing. Upgraded Titan, so I'm sure six piece fits two tires. I'm gonna have to say this would be good to keep in your car in certain areas, even here, if you were to get stuck. Uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt to keep in your trunk at all. So it would get you out if you ever run into uh, ice, really bad ice storm. You know what? You stick these on, and at least you know you have a bit of safety. I will I will say that. This here again. It is a slip cover for a couch. I'm not even going to take it out. Self-explanatory. Not too, not too keen on stuff like that. Between that and the blankets, a couple more products. So, serving tray. Again, not worth. Uh, I'm not going to list this. This will be a garage sale kind of uh, ordeal. Because I don't think you're going to get much for this. You know, it is a nice little, it's got the tag on it still. Nice little serving tray. There you go. We have, we have, ooh, look at this. A toilet plunger. Wow, lucky me. Just getting so lucky here. A toilet plunger. Wow. Even funnier. I'm not even going to touch that because it doesn't look new. Uh, it's all been opened. I don't know if somebody used it, then sent it back. Let's, uh, maybe I'll dig into that when I have some gloves on or something. So. <laughs> and. Let's see what we have here. Sound bar. Hopefully it's uh, hopefully it's all there. Okay, so this is looking good so far. Power adapter, remote, the old cardboard test I tell you guys about. All good. TV sound bar system, not sure, really can't pronounce that name. So it's definitely not a, a Samsung or anything. It's a uh, Sequoia's. There we go. All right, so looks brand new. Again, it's one of those uh, one of those items. I'll have to plug it in, make sure it works. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I might just keep it. Because I think my neighbor wants one, so I might keep it. Almost at the end, boys and girls. Almost at the end. What I have in this one here, we have a digit now. Turntable, cassette, radio player, and recorder. Say that quick ten times. See if we can get lucky and at least get a new one. Nah, well, has been taken out. There you go, you can tell by the power cord, but nonetheless, it's one of those items somebody gets, not sure if they really want it, and then they send it back. So that's okay. All right, it looks, uh, at least they packaged it. Nice, back real nice. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's uh, pretty much brand new. And you know that's you know what I'm gonna say it's pretty much brand new. It is. There is absolutely you know what even still has a twist tie on the record handle. Checking out the front. You know there's the sticker still there. A few minor little scuffs or whatever, but that could have been from. Shipping, we'll take a better look into that, see if that works. Not quite sure what something like this is worth, but we'll look into it. 
in the demand. I don't know how what kind of demand somebody would be looking for a product like this, but we're going to find out. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm coming to my last one, and it might be uh, one of my saving. I wouldn't say saving grace, but if it's brand new, at least I can get a few dollars back. And it is a uh, cock juice extractor. So, with any luck. Wow, I'm on a roll. There you go. Watermarks on it. So it has been cleaned. So if it's been cleaned, it means it's been used. Generally. Yeah, I can see all the water marks on the plastic. So again, I'll have to, I guess I'll see if it works, clean it up, and I'll sell it as a used item. I, you know, being used, something like that. Uh, yeah, you can see the juice marks on, on the side. So I don't know. I don't know if I, if I spend the time to clean it up, they make myself $25 or, you know, it's just one of those things. Or, uh, it's a Christmas gift for, uh, you know, maybe, maybe my brother-in-law that lives in the Brantford area. I'm not quite sure yet, but <laughs> who knows? Just easing. So here we go. That's it. So we have not the greatest of pallets. We'll have to dig through everything, see if we can make, you know, 10 bucks here, $40 there. And uh, until next time, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, just so you guys know, I've noticed 60% uh, of my viewings are coming from people that haven't subscribed. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe, hit the like, and I'll see you on the next one.